Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. Thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news and watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with myself and David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your friends and your colleagues. And for any cloud news media submissions to feature in this show, please email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com. This week, Australia's stock exchange, the ASX, is moving to blockchain-style system for trade settlements. The ASX has decided to replace its chess system to record changes in shareholding with distributed ledger technology found in blockchain. With advanced encryption to keep track of transactions, blockchain gives confidence to both buyers and sellers. The ASX managing director and CEO Dominic Stevens said that the exchange has been carefully examining distributed ledger technology for almost two and a half years and we believe that using DLT or distributed ledger technology to replace chess will enable our customers to develop new services and reduce their costs and it will put Australia at the forefront of innovation in financial markets. The Chess Clearinghouse Electronic Subregister System was introduced in 1990 to manage the clearing and settlement of equity transactions in Australia. The ASX now plans to replace this with technology developed by a company called Digital Asset, a company founded only in 2014. This week, Amazon Web Services has opened its second Chinese cloud computing zone, its 17th around the world. AWS said its China Ningxia region, operated by Ningxia Western Cloud Digital Technology, is now up and running and provides customers another option to run applications and store data on AWS in China. In most of the world, AWS owns and operates its own cloud infrastructure. However, in China, the situation is more complicated as Chinese law forbids non-Chinese companies from owning or operating cloud computing infrastructure. To comply with China's legal and regulatory requirements, AWS has formed a strategic technology collaboration with NWCD to operate and provide services from the AWS China Ningxia region. This week, Google have officially announced that it is operating an AI center in Beijing, China after months of speculation, which was fueled by a major push to hire AI talent inside the country. Google's search engine is blocked in China, but the company still has hundreds of staff there which work on its international services. In reference to that workforce, Alphabet chairman Eric Schmidt said, the company has never left China and it makes sense that Google wouldn't want to ignore China's deep and growing artificial intelligent talent pool. This week, the CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, has warned to invest wisely. Coinbase is one of the most popular cryptocurrency exchanges out there and is urging users to be responsible about their investments. CEO Brian Armstrong said, We also want to remind customers of some of the risks associated with trading digital currency. Digital currencies are volatile and the prices can go up or down. The startup, which is currently valued at 1.6 billion US dollars, the Coinbase app skyrocketed to temporarily holding the number one download free app spot in the App Store. The price of a Bitcoin is currently resting at around 15,000 US dollars, down nearly 11% over the past 24 hours, according to Coindesk. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's cloud computing news and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and make sure that you look out for the latest cloud computing shows with David Lindicum. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.